In this section, we are going to go through MS100 Module 1 Review Questions. Module 1 was all around designing your Microsoft 365 tenant. So let's look at the first question. Which of the following enterprise mobility plus security components provides identity management for on-premises users, remote users and hybrid users assessing applications both locally and over the cloud? Is it Azure AD Identity Protection or Azure AD Privileged Identity Management or Azure AD Premium P1? The correct answer is Azure AD Premium P1. Azure AD Premium P1 is an enterprise level edition that provides identity management for on-premises users, remote users and hybrid users assessing applications both locally and over the cloud. Let's look at question number two. You are the enterprise administrator for Contoso, which is planning to migrate to Microsoft 365. What's the first thing you should do when planning Contoso's tenant setup and creating its tenant account? Is it inventory the current environment in the organization or Decide which Microsoft 365 plans to meet your organization's requirement. Or is it to fix potential deployment blockers and clean up your organization? The correct answer is decide which Microsoft 365 plans meet your organization's requirement. The first step in the overall process for creating a tenant account for Microsoft 365 is deciding which Microsoft 365 plan or plans meet your organization's requirement? Let's look at question number three. You are the enterprise administrator for Contoso, which is planning to migrate to Microsoft 365. They have narrowed down the Microsoft 365 plan to the business plan that take advantage of support for unlimited users. The company has also identified the following requirements. The ability to install Office 2019 apps on Mac computers, the ability to install Office on smartphones and tablets, and support for business class email. You have been asked to identify the Microsoft 365 plan that meets these requirements while minimizing the total cost. Which plan should you use? Is it Office 365 E3 or F3 or Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise? The correct answer is Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise. Only Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise provides the ability to install Office 2019 apps locally, whether it's Mac or Windows computer. Let us look at question number four. In your role as enterprise administrator for Lucerne Publishing, you are cleaning up the company's on-premises Active Directory environment by running the ID Fix tool. The ID Fix tool detects a top level domain error. Which of the following changes would be representative for a fix that you would make for this type of error? So please have a look through the option. So if you are feeling like I am rushing into the answer, please pause the video while you go through these options. The correct answer is change my address at lucernepublishing.local to my address at lucernepublishing.com. This error is an example of a top level domain error, which can be fixed by changing dot local value to an internet routable domain such as dot com or dot net let us look into question number five as fabricam's enterprise administrator you are using microsoft's deployment planning checklist to help keep your microsoft 365 deployment on schedule you have determined your deployment goals and invented your current environment. Which of these following tasks should you do next? Is it to collect details about any internet sites that you plan to migrate? Or is it to prepare for directory synchronization? Or 
easy to update client software versions the correct answer is update client software versions after determining your deployment goals and taking inventory of your current environment the next step in the deployment planning checklist is to fix potential deployment blockers updating client software version is one of the task that should be completed within this step question number 6 as fabricam's enterprise administrator you are reviewing the company's network readiness you know that Microsoft provides several tools to help organizations analyze their networks because Fabricam has experienced several network issues over the past year you are especially interested in finding an effective tool for troubleshooting network problems which of the following tools will help Fabricam troubleshoot any network issues it may experience after deploying Microsoft 365 is it Microsoft remote connectivity analyzer or message analyzer or support and recovery assistant the correct answer is microsoft message analyzer the message analyzer is an effective tool for troubleshooting network issues message analyzer captures displays and analyzes protocol based messaging traffic and system messages it also lets you import aggregate and analyze data from log and trace files question number 7 when planning network requirements for a microsoft 365 deployment what should you always do is it avoiding vpn tunneling through other companies location or require user authentication on outbound proxies or locate your more active network system between a client and the microsoft 365 resource The correct answer is avoid VPN tunneling through other company locations. All locations should use a direct connection to Microsoft 365 and not use VPN tunneling to route through other company locations. Question number 8. You are the enterprise administrator for Fabricam. You are reviewing the different deployment strategies that Microsoft 365 provides for companies to authenticate into its services. In which of the following deployment strategies does authentication occur on premises? The correct answer is federation with ADFS. Authentication occurs on premises when implementing federation with ADFS. Question number 9. You are the enterprise administrator for Fabricam. You are reviewing the different identity strategies that Microsoft 365 provides for companies to authenticate into its services. As part of your review, you are looking for the strategy that has the least setup requirements. Which of the following identity strategies meet this Fabricam business requirement? Is it password hash synchronization or cloud only? or azure ad pass through authentication the correct answer is cloud only this strategy has the least setup compared to other identity strategies all that is needed is a subscription and a sign in account question number 10 as fabricam's enterprise administrator you are planning a migration to microsoft 365 You plan to authenticate all users in Azure Active Directory. As part of this process, the hashes of your users' passwords must be replicated between Fabricam's on-premises environment and Microsoft 365. Which of the following identity types should you use? Is it cloud only or federated identity or synchronized identity? The correct answer is synchronized identity with synchronized identities hashes of user passwords are replicated from on premises active directory to azure active directory when passwords are changed or reset on premises the new password hashes are immediately synchronized to azure ad so that users can always use the same password for cloud resources and on premises resources Question number 11 You are the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys. 
your company's Microsoft 365 tenant is deployed in a cloud-only environment. You are interested in enabling Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. Which of the following authentication options can Tailspin Toys use as a second type of authentication for multi-factor authentication? Is it physical or virtual smart card? Or is it text message or Azure MFA app? The correct answer is text message. In a cloud-only deployment, Azure Active Directory MFA authentication options include text message, phone call, and use of a mobile app. Question number 12. As the enterprise administrator for Contuso, you are planning its Microsoft 365 deployment. You are currently investigating authentication strategies. While you are interested in Azure AD Connect pass-through authentication, you are concerned about whether Contuso's environment can support it. If you implement pass-through authentication, which of the following scenarios will it support? Please pause the video and go through these options first. The correct answer is users sign in to Outlook clients using legacy protocols such as Exchange Active Sync, SMTP, POP, and IMAP. This is a supported scenario for implementing pass-through authentication. Question number 13. As the enterprise administrator for Contuso, you are planning to deploy ADFS for your Microsoft 365 deployment. Because the applications that require security tokens are often critical for Contuso, you are concerned about the failure of an application that ADFS enables. To address this concern, you want to make the ADFS service highly available and you want to distribute application requests. Which of the following ADFS best practices will achieve these goals? Is it to deploy multiple ADFS nodes for high availability and balancing the load? Or is it domain controllers should be deployed on the same network as the ADFS servers? or never expose security token service servers directly to the internet. The correct answer is deploy multiple ADFS nodes for high availability and balancing the load. The ADFS service must be highly available through multiple ADFS proxies and ADFS servers. To achieve distribution of requests, load balancers are typically deployed in front of both the ADFS proxies and the ADFS servers. Question number 14. Azure Active Directory single sign-on creates Azure AD Connect trace log files. These files contain personal data. What best practice can you employ to improve the privacy of the data that's stored in these files? Is it to ensure no data is kept beyond 48 hours or purge log files as they come available or request a custom policy from Microsoft Support Services? The correct answer is ensure no data is kept beyond 48 hours. This option is recommended because it's the easiest policy to implement and maintain and yet still improve data privacy. Question number 15. As the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys, you want to restrict traffic in your ADFS deployment. Of the available options for restricting traffic, you are interested in the one that is less costly and provides the simpler initial configuration. Which option should you choose? Is it a Barracuda NG firewall or web application proxy service or Azure Network ACLs? The correct answer is Azure Network ACLs or access control list. The major advantage to using this option is that it's less costly and has a simple initial configuration. Question number 16. As the enterprise administrator for Lucerne Publishing, you are trying to decide which migration option to use. Lucerne wants to keep its on-premises exchange servers. Based on this requirement, which of the following migration options should you recommend? Is it hybrid, staged, or cutover? The correct answer is hybrid configuration. 
When an organization wants to keep its on-premises exchange servers, the recommended approach is to use hybrid configuration. Question number 17. You are the owner, CTO, enterprise administrator and all-around computer person of Margie's Travel. The company is a sole proprietorship located in Florida that recently deployed Microsoft 365. You want to create a file storage and sharing strategy that fits your company's needs, but you are not sure what approach to take. It has since come to your attention that Microsoft 365 provides file storage and sharing strategies that are based on industry type. Which of the following file storage and sharing strategies is recommended for sole proprietorship like Margie's Travel? Please pause the video to go through the available answer options before coming up with your own answer or before I reveal the answer. The correct answer is use OneDrive for business to store your own files and share them with customers on a case to case basis. The recommended file storage and sharing strategy for sole proprietorship is to use OneDrive for Business to store your own files and share them with customers on a case-to-case -case basis. Question number 18. You are the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys. You want to achieve the best experience using Microsoft Teams in your Microsoft 365 deployment. Which of the following feature sets should Tailspin Toys deploy? Is it Azure AD pass-through authentication and multi-factor authentication? Or Azure AD connect and password hash synchronization? Or Exchange Online and SharePoint Online? The correct answer is Exchange Online and SharePoint Online. To achieve the best experience using Microsoft Teams, an organization should deploy Exchange Online and SharePoint Online. And it should ensure that its current environment is ready for Teams. Question number 19. When implementing Microsoft Teams, organizations will experience degraded performance when which of the following network activities occur? Please pause the video to go through the available options before I reveal the answer. The correct answer is they actively block specific ports or they don't open the correct ports. Question number 20. Azure AD Connect is made up of two primary components. One of the components is synchronization services. This component is responsible for synchronizing users, groups, and other objects. It's also responsible for making sure identity protection for your on-premises users and groups is matching the cloud. What is the second primary component of Azure AD Connect? The second component is Azure AD Connect Health. Azure AD Connect Health provides a robust health monitoring and central location in the Azure portal to view this activity. Question number 21. As the enterprise administrator for Fabricum, you are trying to decide which migration option will be the best fit for the company. Fabricum currently uses a third-party mail system. Given this requirement, which of the following migration options must Fabricum use? Is it cutover, staged, or IMAP? The correct answer is IMAP migration. If you currently run a third-party mail system, you can only use IMAP or third-party tools as migration options. Question number 22. As the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys, you are planning your Microsoft 365 deployment. For your mail system, you plan to configure a hybrid exchange environment and you want to document what the exchange features will be like both before and after the hybrid deployment. Which of the following scenarios will result after configuring your hybrid deployment? The correct answer is mailboxes will be on-premises and in Microsoft 365. Mailboxes will be on-premises only before the hybrid deployment and they will be on-premises and in Microsoft 365 after the hybrid deployment. Question number 23. You are the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys. You have on-premises Skype for business users who are simultaneously using Microsoft Teams. However, 
they are unable to interoperate with Skype for business users from their Teams client. They also can't communicate with users in federated organizations from their Teams client. You want to provide both of these functionalities to your users in Teams. To do so, you must move the users from on-premises Skype for Business to the cloud. Doing so requires that you configure a hybrid Skype for Business deployment. Once you have configured this hybrid deployment, what must you do to provide your users with interoperability and federation support from their Teams client? Is it enabling direct routing or configuring the users to be in Teams only mode or create a split domain when setting up your hybrid connectivity? The correct answer is configure the users to be in the Teams only mode. Teams only mode provides your users with interoperability and federation support from their Teams client. Question number 24. You are the enterprise administrator for Contoso which has a Microsoft Enterprise E5 subscription. Contoso already uses SharePoint Online to support its collaboration efforts between users and teams. However, you are interested in creating a hybrid SharePoint environment to maximize collaboration. Of all the extra features that a hybrid SharePoint environment will provide, you are most interested in creating a modern productivity experience for your users. In this environment, your users will have a more seamless experience when navigating between Contoso's on-premises SharePoint server and Microsoft 365. To achieve this result, which of the following features should you configure with the help of the SharePoint Online Hybrid Picker tool? Is it Hybrid OneDrive or Hybrid App Launcher or Business to Business Extranet Site? The correct answer is Hybrid App Launcher. Hybrid App Launcher creates a modern productivity experience for users and helps them have a more seamless experience when navigating between your on-premises SharePoint server and Microsoft 365. Let's look at question number 25. As the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys, you are planning a migration to Microsoft 365 and you are following Microsoft 365's deployment planning checklist for Microsoft 365. And you have finished determining your organization's deployment goals to meet its business requirement. What task should you do next? Is it fix potential deployment blockers or set up Microsoft 365 services to work for your organization? Or to do an inventory of your current environment? The correct answer is inventory the current environment. Once you have determined your organization's goals, the next step is to inventory your current environment. Question number 26. You are the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys. As you plan your Microsoft 365 deployment, you want to select the most appropriate strategy for Tailspin Toys when migrating mail, calendar and contact information to the cloud. You want to move your entire email organization, which include 3000 mailboxes to Microsoft 365 and manage user accounts in Microsoft 365. You realize it may take more than a few days to migrate batches of on-premises mailboxes to Microsoft 365. In fact, it may take a few weeks or months. Which migration strategy should you employ to meet these business requirements? Is it cutover, IMAP, or staged migration? The correct answer is staged migration. A staged migration migrates batches of on-premises mailboxes to Microsoft 365 over the course of a few weeks or months, and it ultimately allows you to manage user accounts in Microsoft 365. Question number 27. You are the enterprise administrator for Northwind Traders. As you plan your Microsoft 365 deployment, you are concerned about potential network issues that may occur when you migrate Northwind's mailboxes to Microsoft 365. Your initial concern is the amount of time it will take to complete the mailbox migration. And you want a fast migration. 
but you are concerned with the time it may take to complete the data transfer. While there are many issues that can affect data transfer speeds, you want to begin by focusing on network capacity. Microsoft recommends several best practices to help maximize your network capacity. Which of the following best practices will ultimately minimize the amount of time it takes to migrate mailboxes to Microsoft 365? Please pause the video to go through these available answer options before I reveal the answer. The correct answer is contact your ISP to confirm your allocated bandwidth and to get details about any possible restrictions. Question number 28. This is the last question on this module. As the enterprise administrator for Tailspin Toys, you are planning your company's deployment of Microsoft 365. As you work your way through the Microsoft 365 deployment planning checklist, you want to start planning your rollout to Tailspin users. Which of the following steps must be complete when rolling out Microsoft 365 to your users? The correct answer is reconfigure your client systems to connect to Microsoft 365. When rolling out Microsoft 365 to your users, you must reconfigure your client systems, which is Office, Outlook, Outlook for Mac and mobile devices to connect to Microsoft 365. All right, so we completed module one and we have gone through module one review questions. In the next lesson, we are going to start a new module, module two. And the first lesson is configuring your Microsoft 365 experience. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.